Hi folks, it's Dr. Bolts. A handful of you the other day had some questions about how to cite um, Shakespeare within the MLA format. Uh, you remembered it vaguely and I did go over it with you, but I wanted to make this video that way you had some sort of reference that you could go with. So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share the screen with you and then we'll sort of go over step by step what needs to be done. So we're sharing our screen at this moment. Let's sort of make this larger so that you can see it. So this is our remote learning edition, of course. There's two things really we're gonna cover in this video, and I'm gonna keep it brief. It's not gonna be 10 minutes by any means. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna to show to you when you actually have your textual evidence and you integrate it into your own sentences, how to demonstrate when you have two lines that are contiguous, meaning they're side by side. They, there is no break between them. They're touching, if you will. And then also, of course, I'm gonna show you how to do that parenthetical citation within your essay using the most common MLA format because there are some other ways to do it, but I'm gonna show you the most common. So let's talk about the textual evidence that we're gonna to use today. First of all, it's taken from Act 1, Scene 3, lines 54 through 55, and of course it's from Macbeth. This is Banquo speaking. Banquo is speaking to Macbeth specifically. This is after the prophecy has been told and he's surprised at why Macbeth is a little bit in shock. He says, good sir, so he's talking to Macbeth, good sir, why do you start, meaning why are you startled, why are you so shocked, and seem to fear things that do sound so fair? So that's her quote there. Let's talk about how we would integrate it to show this line break, because this line break between fear and things. So let's bring it up here. You know, as I say, when integrating, use a slash between two or more contiguous lines. So this is our original quote. I'm not gonna go over how to integrate and choose the best words and phrases and things of that nature, but if you need help with that, reach out to me and I'll give you that support. But let's talk about how to show this line break here. So here's our sentence that we rewrote. Because Banquo had been excited about the prophecy, he initially wondered why Macbeth seemed to fear things that do sound so fair. So if you notice what I've highlighted here is where the line break takes place between this line here and this line, so you put this slash right in your text. So that's it, that's how you show a break between the lines, as long as those lines are side by side. This bracketed area, by the way, this is just me demonstrating that I've changed this to past tense, so it will fit grammatically. Note, I don't have a citation yet, we're gonna add that. So let's move forward here. Let's talk about that parenthetical citation within the MLA format. So first of all, this is the information that we have here. It's not in the proper format. Again, title is Macbeth, or I guess technically Tragedy Macbeth, Act 1, Scene 3, Lines 54 through 55. The format that you want to follow is as follows. In parentheses, at the end of your sentence, you want to first of all put the play title, abbreviate it, all right? You could abbreviate this down to Macbeth, to Mac if you wanted to. Then you put the act number, only the number, then you put the scene number, then you put the line or lines, and their number or numbers, and if it's appropriate, you put a dash, if the lines are not broken, or you put a comma if you're only taking a chunk and a chunk and they're not contiguous or side by side. So how does it look? So again, it looks like this. Here's your play title, Macbeth. You can, again, abbreviate it down to Mac, period. Space, act number, only the number, period. Scene number, period. And then the line or line numbers, all right? So, and then notice, again, we have this dash here. So that's the way it would look for the parentheses, for the citation, rather. So how's everything look together? Here you have it. Because Banco had been excited about the prophecy, he initially wondered why Macbeth seemed to fear things that do sound so fair. And then here's your citation. Note the parentheses and the period that ends the sentence. Period is outside of the parentheses. And that's the same thing that we've been doing all year. So let me close this out for you. Um, if you have any questions, by all means, reach out to me. My email address is james.bolts at redclay.k12.de. Dot us. Be safe, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Bye now.